Lifting Up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. Hi, this is Tim of Morial TV and Morial Radio here live in England with James Jacob Prash. Jacob, one of the questions the believers said is how will we see, uh, will we see all three persons of the triunity of the Godhead individually? And some of these questions are asked by solid believers. So I guess the question is, how will we experience the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit when we are in heaven? What will we see? What will we experience? What we will see and what we will experience is exactly what Stephen saw and experienced at his martyrdom in Acts chapter 7. The Holy Spirit was in Stephen. He was filled with the Spirit. And he looked up and he beheld Jesus at the right hand of the Father. Until that point, we will not be able to understand the triunity of the Godhead beyond a limited point. As it is, we can understand the Trinity or the Trinity of the Godhead up to a limited point. We can understand it to know that it exists, and we can understand to a degree how these three persons interoperate by the teaching of Jesus in John 14 and so forth. But not until we see what Stephen saw will we fully understand the relationship of the Trinity of the Godhead. Until then, we will be limited in our capacity to understand it. But that's what we will see. Additionally, the great beyond is the great beyond, but it's not a mystery. Death is not a mystery. The scriptures speak of many things as a mystery. The mystery of the gospel, the mystery of iniquity. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. There are many mysteries. But the afterlife is not one of them. Look at the book of Revelation. That's what we are going to see. From Revelation 4.1, that, that's what we're going to see. We're going to see what Stephen saw. It is not a mystery. Now, it's something we can only understand in part until it happens and until we get there, but it's not a totally unknown quantity. Again, we had a previous question about the walls and gates of Jerusalem. Those things are a model, an earthly model, of what exists in the heavenlies. Now we can take this further. The millennial reign of Christ in a perfect world run by Jesus, ruled by Jesus when he'll rule the nations with a rod of iron for a thousand years. The way the world or the planet is going to be under the domain of Christ in the millennium, that teaches us tremendously about eternity. It's going to be a sort of a prep school or a preparatory academy for eternal heaven. Jesus is going to spend a thousand years teaching us to get us ready for something we really can't understand. We can't relate to heaven and all its glory, but we can relate to a degree to a perfect world. A newborn baby your firstborn child when you hold it for the first time. You've never experienced such human love before. Beauty, love, well, that gives a little hint about what the millennium is going to be like. A is to be as B is to C. The beauty that we will experience by co-reigning with Christ in the millennium will give us a taste, a hint, an idea of the love and the glory that's going to be an eternity. These things are not mysteries. They're only partially understood now. When we see the Lord, we're going to see what Stephen saw. When you give up the ghost, you're going to see what Stephen saw, if you're a believer. Now, there is another aspect of this. If you and I, if we, are alive 
at the rapture. The Lord is going to come, but he's going to bring our loved ones with him. Those who've gone to sleep in the Lord, the dead in Christ rise first. The Lord is coming and bringing our loved ones with him. The first thing we're going to see is Jesus. The second thing, at the right hand of the Father, the second thing we're going to see is the people who are Christians, who we knew and loved, who went on to greener pastures. That's what we're going to see. Again, I would always refer people to the martyrdom of Stephen. There's much more to that story than his martyrdom. 